Imagine possessing the ability to harness the entire energy of the sun. Welcome to the concept of a Dyson Sphere. This isn't some fantastical science fiction idea, but a hypothetical megastructure that would completely encompass a star, capturing a large percentage of its power output. Picture a shell or a swarm of objects, orbiting and soaking up the sun's energy, a concept we owe to the visionary physicist, Freeman Dyson. Back in 1960, Dyson proposed this mind-boggling concept, sparking discussions and dreams of advanced civilizations far beyond our current capabilities. It's an idea that challenges our understanding of energy consumption and resource management on a cosmic scale. We're talking about an achievement that would catapult us into the realm of type 2 civilizations on the Kardashev scale. A Dyson sphere, if realized, would be a game-changer, but how feasible is it? Constructing a Dyson Sphere is no small feat, it requires materials, technology, and time beyond our current capabilities. To grasp the scale of such an endeavor, imagine trying to build a structure that could encompass our entire sun. It's a concept that reaches beyond our wildest dreams and deepest imaginations. Consider the raw materials needed for such a project, we're not talking about a few million tons of steel or a couple of mountains worth of concrete, we're talking about a structure so massive that it would require more raw materials than exist on our entire planet. We would have to mine other planets, asteroids, even other star systems just to gather the necessary resources. And what about the material itself? No known material could withstand the heat and gravitational forces of the sun. Even our strongest alloys would melt instantly, and the most resistant ceramics would crumble under the immense pressures. We would need to discover or invent entirely new materials, capable of surviving conditions far beyond anything we've ever encountered. But the challenges don't stop there. The technology required to build a Dyson Sphere is currently beyond our reach. We would need machines capable of working in the harsh conditions of space, automated systems that could operate for centuries or even millennia without human intervention. And the logistics of coordinating such a massive project, of managing the resources and machinery across interstellar distances, is a task that dwarfs any project humanity has ever undertaken. And then there's the time factor. Even if we had the materials and technology ready today, building a Dyson Sphere would take an unimaginable amount of time. We're not talking about a few decades or even a few centuries. We're talking about a project that could take thousands or even tens of thousands of years to complete. The challenges are immense, yet the potential rewards could be even greater. Harnessing the power of a star could provide us with nearly limitless energy, fueling our civilization for eons to come. But for now, the Dyson Sphere remains a dream, a testament to our species' ambition and our ceaseless quest for knowledge. An operational Dyson Sphere would revolutionize our understanding of energy consumption and our position in the universe. Imagine the possibility of harnessing the full power of the sun, a star that churns out about 400 trillion trillion watts of energy every second. With a Dyson Sphere, we could capture a significant percentage of this energy, potentially solving energy crises across the globe and propelling our technological advancement to levels we can only dream of today. Imagine a world where energy is abundant and accessible to all, where power shortages are a thing of the past. Picture a society where the rapid technological progress fueled by this limitless energy source ushers in an era of unprecedented innovation. From everyday appliances to cutting-edge scientific research, every facet of our lives could experience a seismic shift. However, as with any powerful tool, there would be potential for misuse. With such a colossal amount of energy at our disposal, the risk of it falling into the wrong hands is a terrifying prospect. Unchecked, this power could be used for destructive purposes, destabilizing our world in unimaginable ways. Furthermore, the construction of a Dyson Sphere could have serious implications for nearby planetary systems. The sphere would block all sunlight from reaching beyond it, potentially disrupting the ecosystems of planets in its vicinity. It could also lead to significant gravitational changes affecting the orbits of nearby celestial bodies, but it's not all doom and gloom. The sphere could also serve as a beacon, signaling to other civilizations in the cosmos that we've reached a level of technological advancement capable of such a monumental feat. It could open doors to new forms of interstellar communication and cooperation, forever altering our place in the universe. In essence, the Dyson Sphere is a double-edged sword. It's a testament to human ingenuity, capable of powering our future in unimaginable ways. 
but it also comes with significant risks and challenges that we would need to navigate with utmost care. The Dyson Sphere, a monumental concept with monumental consequences. While we may not see a Dyson Sphere in our lifetime, it's a concept that continues to inspire scientists and dreamers alike. The idea of harnessing the full energy of a star, of a civilization advancing to a point where such a feat is possible, is a vision that continues to captivate imaginations. Much of this fascination finds its expression in the realm of science fiction. From Star Trek to the works of renowned authors like Arthur C. Clarke and Larry Niven, the Dyson Sphere has been a recurring motif. It represents a civilization that has transcended its planetary confines, a civilization that has truly become a steward of the cosmos. Yet this is not just the stuff of dreams and fiction. The Dyson Sphere has also been a spark for serious scientific inquiry and speculation. It's an idea that has led to the conceptualization of other megastructures. One such concept is the Dyson Swarm, a more feasible variant of the sphere. Instead of a solid shell, a Dyson Swarm is a collection of solar power satellites orbiting in a dense formation around the star, capturing its energy. Then there's the Dyson another derivative of the original. It's a web of inner solar collectors creating a flexible and more manageable structure around the star. These concepts, while currently beyond our engineering capabilities, have the potential to guide the development of future technologies. They push us to think about new methods of energy capture, about new materials, and about new ways of living in space. The Dyson Sphere, then, is more than just a hypothetical megastructure. It's a symbol of what we as a species could aspire to. It's a challenge that encourages us to expand our technological horizons, to look beyond our current limitations, and to dream of what could be possible. And so we return to the Dyson Sphere, a beacon that continues to cast its light into the future. We may not build it in our lifetime or even in the next thousand years, but it remains a testament to the limitless potential of human innovation. The Dyson Sphere, a beacon of what could be a testament to the limitless potential of human innovation.